you mean so much to me I can't wait through everything Is this really happening? I swear I'll never be happy again My name is Ruben and I'm a busser at BJ's but what I do for a living in terms of keeping me breathing is I like to write music and sing mainly sing because I'm a little okay at that. I feel like when I write my songs and I put myself out there, I'm not, afra I'm not afraid of people not liking it. What I am afraid of is people lying about not liking it. Like, oh, that's, that's too sensitive. We can make this last. I had, I had some incidents that were bad, but Altogether, I believe I had a good childhood. I was six years old when when I just really thought to myself, like something isn't normal. Like there was no one in the house and I just kind of like look around, just freaking out, just panicking. And I, I told my grandma about it. You know, I told that there's mean people. I, I can't stop hearing mean people. And she just looked at me and she said, you know, whether it's in your head or whether they're real people, there's always gonna be people saying mean things to you, just don't listen. He was such a sweet kid growing up. We've always had a good time talking with each other. It was, I would say, an honor to watch him grow up. He's, I've seen him go through so many different stages in life, but each and every one has always been a meaningful moment in life to watch. When my great grandmother was actually around, it was friendship. One of the best friendships I ever had. I remember holding on to her cane, just like singing into it, and it's the most atrocious thing you ever hear. But this woman sat through it for like 30 minutes. Um, listen to my high-pitched nasally voice. Um, I, I feel like my biggest role model for singing with a cane was that one frog on Warner Brothers. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's, it's probably where my uh, my roots of entertainment were because I, I could always I could always make her laugh, I could always make her smile and, and entertain her. And um, and just just even being at her house, she could be asleep, just just being there. Um, I felt I felt at peace just just being in her house. Like, I just I adored my grandmother. She, I guess, in all reality, uh, makes me the woman that I am. And it was wonderful to watch my son be just as close to her as I was. How do I make my grandmother's day? It would be seeing Ruben. Those are memories that I cherish. I truly do. You know, she was the one person who was happy for me when I had him. And I'm grateful for that. Wake up cold and all alone. Wake up cold and all alone. Wake up cold and all alone. emotional roller coaster and he was going up and down, up and down. I never really understood why. Uh, a part of me uh, kind of, I don't want to say blamed myself, but I always wondered what am I doing wrong that, that he's so emotional all the time. He'd go from high to low and high to low and I can never figure it out. When I had gone to the Colorado Bridge in uh, Pasadena, I was working beforehand at a at dog house and I remember getting a, a text message from Savannah saying that she doesn't think that our uh, relationship's gonna work. She's sorry about uh, breaking our promise because you know young kids always promise forever. I, I asked her like what did I do and she said you're not a nice person. He didn't come home and well, you know I, I always go into panic mode when he doesn't come home and um, so I had went down to his job looking for him. I had saw a bunch of you know police cars heading towards the Colorado Bridge. 
And at that one moment, I knew. I knew why they were heading over there. Uh, unfortunately, the way I responded was walked out of my job, didn't even say anything, just walked out, called her up. I, I asked why we couldn't make it work. She's like, you're not a nice person, you're, you're mean, you're not a good person. Uh, that's all she could really say and got to the bridge, got over the spikes and um, I was kind of staring at the floor for the longest time. It was, it was a long way down <laughs> and, um, and it was a part of me that just, I really wanted to jump. But for some reason, I just, I had something in the back of my head where it was like, what, what am I gonna be fixing with this? Like, I'm gonna die proving her right. Like this is, this is all I could think to solve it was just end me. We both have the same mental disorder. I don't really wanna put her on the spot with it because she's not as open about it as I am. But um, I, I thought to myself, if I get medicated, I can give her the medications and this will be me not being a mean person. Now, when, when I go up on stage, um, it's, a, it's actually a remarkable feeling for me. But when I, when I step on stage and I have my guitar and I'm, I'm ready to sing, I feel like a completely different person. I, I feel like I'm at home. I feel like I'm, I'm ready. I feel like I can take on the world and it, it's it's a fantastic feeling for me and I don't I don't know why I feel so alive when I'm on stage it just it just feels right compared to when I'm going by my, my everyday life because I'm afraid of so many things but once I once I touch any stage I'm just I'm so ready this is a song called bear all I'm trying to like ditch all the songs about my ex because she's a stupid shitty person <laughs> I know you've heard enough. 